So talk about damn. Damn if you do and damn if you don't. This damn broke and these folks get stuck paying the bill either way. Attorney Ben Johnson talking about the victims of the Edenville and Sanford Dam failures. Many of them lost everything in the spring flood of 2020. On the eve of the third anniversary, Johnson joined victims and other attorneys in Sanford to provide an update on their lawsuit. As TV5's Raven Blue tells us, they say the blame game needs to end. Raven? Attorney Ven Johnson says he and his clients want the Michigan and federal governments to stand up, take responsibility, and help everyone affected by the floods. He claims the government is trying to escape accountability for the catastrophe as it continues to appeal a lawsuit over the dam failures. Johnson blames governmental immunity for the lawsuit stalemate, saying it allows them to kick the, the can down the road he says no one is taking responsibility for the 2020 disaster and the state's defense is just denying and delaying everything in the case. When you are the overseeing entity and you know a catastrophe is going to happen, it's a matter of time, as a government who's responsible for infrastructure, you can't sit and, and pretend you don't see what's going on. The mass tort lawsuit, which allows property owners to be evaluated and compensated for damages, claims the Edenville and Sanford dams failed during heavy rain due to the owner's neglect. Johnson says victims are paying double mortgages, one on a home that's destroyed and another on the home needed after. Carl Hammond, a Sanford Village councilman and dam break victim, says insurance hasn't helped, citing it being a man-made disaster. We knew, I've been in this community since 1967, we knew for several years since the 80s that there was a problem with these dams. It's been fought and the can has been kicked down the road for 35 years. They knew that these dams were going to fail. Now that it's happened, we're going to pay the price. He says money was given to the state to help residents, but the process is too difficult to get money to the people who need it, so it will be put into a block grant for infrastructure and low-income housing. But he says that won't help Sanford as many residents continue to fight for help. There are others that have moved on. We lost a whole neighborhood of 15 houses that when they came back, there was nothing to come back to. It was gone. Because if you walk downtown and you go through the downtown, you'll see all the empty buildings and you'll see the empty places that used to be there. Hammond says he knows there is a long way to go and the community must do what it can to keep the issue known. Johnson says the longer this is drawn out, the bigger the payout will be. But he believes the government wants to draw the case out, hoping flood victims will grow tired of fighting. All right, Raven, thank you. Now we've reached out to the attorney general's office for a statement on the case. They said the appeal Johnson is talking about was filed in 2021 and that there hasn't been a new appeal. Flood victims asked the trial court to stay while the appeal is pending, but the court denied that request in January. Both parties now await the Court of Appeals to issue an appeal.